Good morning everybody. Welcome to Richmond's Place Homestead. This is Matt and uh, we're gonna get the day started. Uh, this morning I've been inside editing videos. Um, well Rebecca's already been out doing the chores, feeding the chickens, giving them water uh, um, and she's already started planting some of her tomato plants. So let's go out to the garden and see how things are going. I can see from here that she's already got a uh, head start on me this morning. Editing these videos uh, takes a little longer than I expected. So you can see we're using the trellis or the cattle panel as a trellis in order to hold the plants up. Some are too short to get there yet. Now we got, she got 49 plants planted today on the tomatoes. Um, I don't know, we had some that didn't make it, so. 49's a good start. As far as tomato plants go. We'll get some more out here along with some peppers. I think I'm gonna plant the potatoes this morning and we'll see how that goes. Rebecca's gonna take a break for a little while. Like I said, she got a big head start on me. I spent several hours editing videos. All right, I'm gonna start planting potatoes. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is start Hoeing up, uh, hoeing up a row, and then we'll be planting the uh, potatoes with the cut side down and the eyes up. We'll be spacing the potatoes between 12 and 15 inches apart. Got my Warren hoe. You know what? I got a better hope for this, maybe. We'll try it out. All right, we're gonna give this hoe a shot. And I'm not sure what this is. I'm guessing it's called a wheel hoe, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, just fill it over the top. I got some professional help today. My mother-in-law's coming over to help. Oh no. Say hi to the world. Hello. I wish I had used this last year. Made it a lot easier. A little story about this thing. Make sure you can see it. Is we found this last fall. And it was up in the uh, top of the barn in the rafters. 
difference maker. So we're going to name it that. Well, we're short. <laughs> we're short about three seed potatoes. What do you think? The eyes have it. That's a joke. <laughs> Not a very good one, but it's a joke. My kids used to find that kind of stuff funny. I don't think they find it funny. So you're wondering what kind of potatoes we planted. Uh, majority of the potatoes we planted were russet potatoes. And then the remainder are red potatoes. I'll show you here. We got russets with the eyes up. So russets with the eyes up. And then we got our red potatoes. And like I said, the the potatoes are planted somewhere 12 to 15 inches, give or take, um, apart. And I think this year we're going to have a better garden because we got wider rows, um, wider distances between the rows where we're going to be planting grass. This will help um, uh, soak up some of the excess moisture because we get a lot of excess moisture down here. Uh, the other thing is weed control will be so much easier. And not only that, we're going to run an irrigation system down here um, with a drip irrigation. That way we'll be able to control the water a lot more. When we had sprinklers on it, we were watering everything, including the weeds. Don't want to do that this year. We don't like weeds. We hate weeds. I hate weeds. My wife actually loves weeds because she finds uh, medicinal purposes for them. Personally, I don't like weeds. How you doing, Sue? Good. She's covering up the potatoes, which will hill up. Rebecca went in to take a shower, so uh, uh, to cool off a little bit. She's been out here all morning playing. <laughs> Could have worn my back brace. I didn't even think about that. So, what did you think when me and Rebecca decided to come out here and uh, do a lot idea. of planning? Great idea. All the way around, food-wise, saving money, making your own food, yep. doing your own food. Yeah, should have done it a long time ago, huh? Exactly. Yeah. Well, you're doing it now, so that's all that matters. Yep. <laughs>